got rib three and rib four here. I'm going to duplicate rib four, see if I can make rib five. So I'm going to say Command D and say Modify. Right now, the pivot point, this is where I want the pivot point for all of your ribs at the when the rib is finished, right where the articulation occurs with the vertebra. But I think what I'm going to do for my, uh, with this duplicate initially, is I'm going to take the pivot point and move it back to the center, lower it down, and then see how um, scaling it larger to meet the how badly that makes a mess of it. So you can see I'm articulating pretty well there. Maybe I could move back just a little further. Not too much, otherwise I'm going to go right into the transverse. Okay. So you can see I'm not quite contacting yet that transverse process. So now I'm very close. Maybe move back a little further. And now maybe move down just a little bit. Okay. Let's see what happens if we change the pivot point now to here and we rotate this and raise it back up and then rotate it down. Kind of getting the idea. Not sure that's going to hold water as a articulation, however. Okay, now I still have this big gap. Between the transverse process and the articulating process, um, you might want to try to rotate that rib a little bit in this axis, and now move it back. Oh, a little too far. Okay, so now we're making contact. All right. Now we've gone into a problem, however, with our uh, scale. So let's scale this out. And then really I need to, I need to bend this now down. I can't really just grab soft selects. So let's see if we can use the bend deformer to do that. So I'm going to take all the, this guy doesn't have any history right now. It's just a duplicate of the original. And I'm going to create under rigging deform nonlinear bend. Okay, so it puts it again like we've seen before in the middle here. I'm going to move that focus of the bend deformer about where it's articulating with the vertebra again. So I'll say D. Where's my bend deformer?
Let's just actually move the whole bend deformer there. Okay, now I'm going to rotate it. Like that. I'm trying to get it kind of parallel to the long axis there. Okay, now I'll take all right, so I got what I want in some ways I'm moving. So that bent me down a little bit there. Now what I want to do maybe is let's put the model back up for a second. See, I'm a little too far. Gonna move the band deformer forward a little bit. Okay. So that's the rib. I'm sorry, the band deformer is staying there. I can still bend it more. Letter T. Too much, I think. Okay. It's not bad. I gotta get on to this articulating surface or the uh, transverse process. That's not bad too. I'm kind of touching that. All right. So pretty good here, here, here. What did we look like with the template? A little too far away here. change our template a little bit. If I pull this back out, I pull these two edges back out. So I really want to have the template in contact with the transverse processes since that's That's where the surface is going to go. Okay, so now we got that. And that helps fill that space a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can bring that edge in. Yeah, the work there. And there. Okay, I think just bend it just a little more, see what happens.
So that seems to be about the extent I can get this to work now. I'm going to rotate the bend form a little bit. Oh, and that did a good job getting me a little closer with that. That surface there. I don't know, let's see. Right here if I rotate it. I think it's gonna change all that stuff, yeah. So I think for this point, I'll try and use the soft select again. That seems to work pretty well. No major crisis here. Okay. So that's how we've got that that fourth rib. Let's take off the cage for a second, make sure I'm still articulating, which I am. Great. So we'll come back and do rib six.